What's going on guys, my name's Liam and this is episode 5 or 6, oh these red lines again, let me fix that. There we go, we fixed it, awesome. Um, so yeah, this is episode 5 or 6, because I'm too lazy to check, but it's one of them. And today, I would like to... Uh, Make a few items that have no relevance to this episode whatsoever, but I want to make them just because I can then say I did something Feed the Beastie this episode. Is my jetpack done? It is done. Awesome. So we'll leave that off just for now. Put that on. Awesome. So what I want to do to make first off is the induction smelter. So we need invite ingots, which um, if I remember correctly, we make like this. Um, need that and we need that. So how many do we need actually? I think we need two invariant glitch, so let's make as many as we can. And we can make a few more than that. So yeah, um I think Yeah, that should do. I think twelve will be more than enough. And I'm back to using the furnace because you can see I moved the setup from down here. I've decided what I want the rooms to be by the way, but the MFE is now there uh, instead of down here, because this room will eventually be the pulverizer room. And this room will be entirely pulverizers. Uh, this room up here, this giant room, will be my magma powered room, eventually. I'll do an episode on that. And then this room will be my main room. Down here is my portal room. I'll try and get some more portal guns. Uh, bedroom, obviously. And then storage room, eventually. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm trying to get in. Oh, no. Didn't make it. Um, I think we need some... We're going to need some copper and we're going to need some tin for this episode as well. Awesome. So hopefully this has uh, smelted now. Perfect. And maybe we can make our induction smelter. So we need copper, invar, machine frame, a bucket. I know we got a bucket. Have we got a reception coil? A redstone coil or whatever it's called. Um, I thought I saw one. Mm, doesn't look like it. So we're going to have to make another one of those. I probably just looked over it. Um, but let's get the bucket out. If we can. Bucket, where are you? Bucket, awesome. Let's place that in there as well, because I got that. I was uh, in the nether a while back, and I got that. I also need one more ender pill. I asked Dave to if I could borrow an ender pill, but I don't think he has a spare one. But if he does, I'm sure he'll bring it over. And yeah, we're going to have to make an induction coil, or whatever they're called. Redstone reception coil, my bad. Um, okay. Sorry, I was uh, listening to see if someone's come upstairs. And they weren't. Did I get gold? I didn't get gold. We need gold. You see, I'm just wasting time so I can say I was productive this episode because I ran out of time to do the stuff I wanted to do when really I'm just wasting time doing this stuff at the moment. We need redstone. Redstone! So yeah, I'm not actually going to use the induction furnace this episode. I just want to get it so I can say I did something to feed the beast You know, I, I created something that I wouldn't have been able to create in, in vanilla. And it looks very complicated, and it really isn't, and that is my type of thing. So let's make this invar ingot, there we go. And a bucket up top for our induction smelter. We're finally uh, making some progress here, which I like. Um, why not? There. <laughs> so yeah. I know Drew has one of these, and I saw it in his episode, and it went really fast. I was like, I want one of those, and now I have one of those. So I'm really happy about that. Now... Let's uh, let's get on to what I actually wanted to do this episode, and we're going to do a bit more work on the bee farm. It's uh, it's been a while since I last recorded uh, Feed the Beast. However, I've uh, I've really been neglecting the bee farm. I'm not going to lie. So we need some teak wood impregnated casing. Oh God, is that really how you make an apiary? Um, what was I thinking then? I want to make the apiarist chest. I could have sworn that is not how you make an apiary. I thought apiaries were a lot easier than that. Are they not? You need a carpenter. Okay, how do we make a carpenter? I think I've probably already been through this. Carpenter. Um, sturdy casings. Okay, so that is what I need to make. Bronzing it. So we need a lot of bronzing it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I think there's also a better crafting bench I can get, but I don't know what it is. Is that how you make it? There we go. Okay. Um, sure, why not? YOLO. <laughs> Let's YOLO that so we get uh, as many as we can. Flying carpet? What? 
That looks cool. I want one of those. Um, so let's just make a two in... No, we'll make one impregnated casing. Because we only need one carpenter. And we can't do the 1.5 thing. That's not how you make an impregnated sturdy casing. Here it is. Oh, that's copper. <laughs> I just made a whole bunch of bronze and I'm using copper. Sorry for the clicky noise, by the way. But you can't um, just hover over in this one. So there we go. We've got our sturdy casing. Now we need some more bronze and some glass. Do we have any glass? I'm pretty sure I don't have any glass. So we might have to... Um, we might have to kick up the induction smelter already. So let's actually do that. Um, do you have the wrench on me as well? So then we only have to use one cable. And I'm probably going to get this wrong. If this thing explodes on me, I will not be happy. Oh gee, can you just do this? Hopefully, please. Yay! Right, so if we do this here. This isn't going to be its permanent position, by the way, don't worry. Uh, we need some gold then. I'm not doing nearly as much as I wanted to do this episode, but... You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's still pretty cool. I'm doing a lot of Feed the Beastie stuff. I love it. Hopefully you guys can tell I'm getting a bit more into Feed the Beast now. I'm starting to know a bit more. Maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> Um, two times insulated gold cable. Okay, that's uh, easier than I thought. Have we got any rubber on us right now? Um, no, the rub's in the chest. I do know I have rubber because I just uh, smelted it. I feel really conscious that I'm back at normal uh, vanilla furnaces. But we have got a, an induction furnace in the corner, so that's alright. I think we can let ourselves off there. There we go, rubber. I don't know if there's a better way to get rubber, if there's a more productive way rather than just smelting rubber. Um, I'm pretty sure there will be, but I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? That's not right either, is it? Let's get rid of that. Oh no. Everything's crumbling before my very eyes. Let's grab that, and then we'll fix this. See, I'm being very productive this episode. <laughs> um, okay. So that's not going to work, is it? Maybe it will. Possibly. We need sand as well. Do we have any sand? Sand, awesome. Let's try. Let's just try putting the sand in here, see if it does actually work. And it doesn't. So I'm guessing the induction furnace doesn't use the MFE, if that's the case then. Let's grab some uh, blaze rods. Maybe, maybe it works this way and doesn't actually use power from the bat box or MFE. We'll see. But yeah, I'm probably the poorest person on the server right now. No, <laughs> that didn't work. Um, oh, right, we need a redstone torch or something. We have a lever, that's a, that'll work just as well. Um, so then let's try the blaze rod again. The redstone control tab, the configuration tab. Um, requires Minecraft jewels to operate. Oh, we need an engine then. Okay, let's go down here and get the engine from this because I can't be bothered making another one. And we can just steal this uh, good stuff here. Let's take these engines. And I'm just tearing apart my base today. I don't know what's going on. Let's grab these sterling engines. We'll replace this here. Awesome. Take these as well. Where's the mine? And the pulverizer now feels lonely. <laughs> okay, so let's head up here, try and get these working, and then we can finally go to the apiary. Right, so let's take that, without breaking my wall preferably. Go on. See, I'm nervous to break my wall now. There we go. Um, right, so let's take that and that, because obviously that has no effect on this. So I just wasted a bunch of gold, but eventually we'll need that anyway. Let's grab that there. Um, induction smelt can go here. Hopefully there's enough power surrounding this. But uh, Like that. Then like this and this. We're going to need some more blaze rods. But let's put um, this in here. And we'll also put some... What else do we need to put in here? Do we have anything that needs to be smelted? Maybe. Um, tin. Okay, let's smelt some tin. Why not? So we'll smelt the tin and the sand, and we'll place a blaze rod here. And that should produce it, shouldn't it? 
So that goes to the purple one. There we go. There, there it's working. And that'll go to green. Well, this is actually going very fast. Although the green one doesn't appear to be doing anything. Unless it does it now. No? I'm not sure. Let's take that out. Because that's not doing anything at all. That should, that should still be going, right? Shouldn't it? I don't know. Okay. Let's just use the normal thing. We only needed two pieces of... um. Two pieces of sand, uh, glass anyway, so doesn't matter. But for some reason, it wasn't working. I'm still not very used to all this stuff, but you know, I have so much pulverized iron just everywhere around the base. Where's the coal gone? Not any okay, we'll use blaze rods then. Oh, I thought we had some coal. What a waste of a blaze rod. Actually, we just use coal. <laughs> so we're not going to waste coal. Uh, blaze rods, rather. I know this is such a tantalizing episode. I can't believe it either, people. So amazing. Um, that was, of course, sarcasm because I've done like just about nothing this episode. Okay, let's grab this stuff here. I'm actually going to grab this as well. Where's the wood? Um, let's grab that wood. Okay. And um, we can wait for this glass. We can then get a carpenter going. There we go. Um, this induction smells went very, very fast. We want that to be on purple, don't we? That should work now. Nope, still not working for some... Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, what else do we need? Oh, yeah. So it surrounds by bronze, I believe. Like this, and then this should give us a carpenter. Boop, 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 boop. Carpenter, awesome. So I'm going to actually put that in the apiary place. And what do we need for an apiary, actually? can't remember. Apiary requires... Um, impregnated casing, which needs a bunch of logs, which will give you impregnated casing. Okay. So, actually, we have a bunch of logs, so let's grab that, and then we can head over. Do we have any food? I don't have any food. I need to get that food. I'm running low on food. I might start some sort of pig farm. I know you can get pig spawners in Feed the Beast. A lot of the other guys on the server have them. I'm not entirely sure how to get them, but I know you can get them, so that's the important thing. Uh, so I'll have to ask like Nova or Dave or someone who actually has a pig farmer at the moment, a pig a pig spawner at the moment on how to get them, because I'm sure there is a way, um, and I hope there is a way. But yeah, we're back at the apiary here, very good. Um, the one thing I love about this place is that it is completely free from mobs, like no mobs, stop doing that, no mobs can actually get in here, the portals are very glitchy, and I don't like that. Um... What is it we need? I can't remember. We need modest uh, drones now. We don't have any modest drones, really. Oh, God. Hmm. That's not good. Work card. Oh, we had glass here. I knew we had some glass somewhere. Oh, we have another render pearl. Awesome. Um, I'll do that next episode. I was going to get the uh, Meadows Queen... Meadows Queen. So these are useless now. Hooray! <laughs> Let's uh, place this here. Okay. And then we can... What was it we wanted again? An apiary. So we need impregnated casing. Oh, is it just that? Let's try that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Like this? Maybe... No? Because... Oh, I can place things in here. <laughs> um... I'm not sure. Let's try and take these out right now. Um... No matching recipe was found. Isn't that how you make an apiary? It says there. Um, it says right there that's how you make it. So, seed oil. Oh, of course, we need a... Um, oh, there's Ark. 
uh, just joined the server. We need a, what was it called? Um, something like a squisher or something. Squeezer. We need a squeezer is what we need. We need sturdy casing. Okay, did I, please tell me I brought the bronze with me. Yes. Okay, we need a squeezer. I remember that now. We need tin and glass. Do we have any tin on us? And uh, we might have to go back to the base here. Is there any tin in here? Um, no. Okay, I know there's tin at the base because we just started smelting some, so we need to... Dave is not having a good day today. We need to actually go back to the base and grab this tin. I think there's something up with the portals because no one else seems to have problems with portals. It's only me. And that sucks. Actually, it was the induction smelter that has the tin, isn't it? Um, so... <laughs> oh, Dave is not a happy chappy. Come on. Why is it doing this? No, I didn't want to go through. Okay, let's go through again. It, this server, man. It's, uh... It's so buggy. I might have to, like, raise the things, uh... The portals by one or something like that. I bet it's something stupid like that. Tin... Uh, sturdy casing and glass. I didn't I didn't bring the glass in me. Oh, there's glass. Awesome. <laughs> that was lucky. Um, so let's do this. We need some tin. Um, sturdy casing is there. That gives us a squeezer. And then we need... So what else? Do we need anything else before I go? Because I have tin cans and I'm guessing we need tin cans. Seed oil can. Okay. So... Let's grab another cells. We need cans. Don't I have cans? I can always make cans. Oh no, I can't. I don't have enough tin. Um, do I have any tin in my barrels? I wonder. Oh, here we go. Tin. That's tin, isn't it? Silver. Refined iron. Steel ingot. Bronze. Is it in my safe? I wonder. I'm not actually going to get done what I wanted to this episode, so that's kind of annoying. Um, we don't have any tin in here. Nope. Okay. I don't know why there's blaze rods in my safe. That's kind of weird. Is it in here, maybe? Tin! Oh, okay. Nice. Um, so let's quickly make ourselves some cans. We're going to need some seeds as well, but I think the seeds are actually at the apiary. Oh. That's not how you make it. How do you make tin cans <laughs> um can 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 you can you can 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 you can you can 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 i'm losing my mind now tin can oh we need scrap boxes tin can oh no we don't tin ingots all the way around okay so i just made it completely wrong fair enough it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes tin 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 um, we need seeds. Okay, I think I already have seeds there. And in case this needs jewels, I'm going to take these with me. Because I don't want to make a return trip. And this will probably be bordering on the end of the episode here. Um, okay. Let's get out of here. And let's place down our squeezer. If we can get out these stupid portals, that is. All I wanted to do on my bank holiday Monday was record some Feed the Beast, you know, maybe a load of video or two, but no. Um, Squeezer. Let's get some seeds out of here. I don't have any seeds, oh my god. Okay, um, let's get our jetpack on. Need to go find some seeds in that case, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Some seeds, because we need to get some squished seeds can, I believe. Okay, okay, getting some seeds, it's going to be awesome, cannot wait, Sherb is playing the wind water, very nice to know, just all the seeds we're getting, flax seeds, ooh that's interesting, there's no normal seeds, whatever happened to normal seeds, normal seed, apparently they're rare now. Oh, this is faster. Just hold it down and go crazy. Okay, so we got some seeds now. Three. After all that, we got three seeds. Whatever. So let's go make some seed oil, which I believe we need to then do other stuff, which I forgot what we were doing now. 
But um, let's place our tin can there, and then we'll do that there. Shared access, okay. Let's uh, private that. Um, no recipe. Let's uh, and try this maybe, and then power it. Is that how we do this for the squeezer? And then give it a blaze rod which we don't have um oh we got peat awesome so we've got some peat here let's see if this will work hopefully it does that'll make my year it's working it's making myself some seed oil it's kind of doing it <laughs> okay so let's get our seed oil here I'm actually really happy that worked where'd the seeds go Give it more. Give it some more peat as well, just in case. Thanks for the peat, Dave, by the way. Yay. It's just taking up and not doing anything else. To do that as well. Put as much stuff in there as we can. Um, it's not even remotely filling up. And that's kind of worrying. Do we need like a stack of seeds? Um, I don't know. Well, we didn't really do much today except for get a lot of items done. We got the induction smelter and things. There's an enderman over there. I want his ender pearl. But he's underground, so I can't be bothered. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we didn't really get a lot done. Um, kind of annoyed about that, but not really much we can do. <laughs> um, yeah, so Dave's been having some trouble today, lagging all day, apparently. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Liam. This was episode 5 of R6 of Feed the Beast, Red Cubed. And for some reason, I can't get this thing to work, and it's really annoying me. Let's put some more peat in here. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> it isn't the problem, but hey, we can always try. Um, so, yeah, we're having no luck at all trying to get these. You see, I'm trying to get it, but it's not filling up. So you guys have to tell me what's up with that. Um, next episode, I am going to take a huge risk and go into the twilight so we can actually get something done for once. Um, but yeah, next episode, we'll head into the twilight. I'm not sure if that's so much of a clever idea, but uh, it's happening. So yeah, that should be interesting. I just want to start getting on par with everyone else on the server. You know, everyone else has twilight things and... That's really where the majority of their items come from. And Dave, it's just dying left, right, and center. Um, so from myself, Ark, Rem, and Dave, thank you very much for watching my episode of Feed the Beast. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. And uh, apparently, Skeleton had a flame bow. Don't go in there. Oh, my God. Why was I on fire? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Boop.